if you want to live out some sort of fantasy, some sex fetish, whatever it may be, you're going to find a club for that. Hello, Suzanne. Welcome back to my channel. I hope that you guys are all having a good day so far. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Diana and I make videos all about my life as an expat living in Germany. And today I'm actually going to be talking about Berlin. It's the city that I live in right now. I've been here for almost three years. I absolutely love it. I think it's such a cool and unique place. So I wanted to talk about some of the don'ts, things that you should not do in Berlin, whether you are visiting or you're going to be living here. These are things that you want to avoid doing. Now, I like to call Berlin the rebel child of Germany. It does things very different. It's not as clean as other cities. Uh, people here are very free spirited, very creative. You'll find graffiti all over the place. Uh, people just kind of walk to the beat of their own drum here. And it's a really cool place to be in if you want to, you know, live a different lifestyle and be creative and meet really unique people. So because of that, it doesn't always follow the norms that the rest of Germany follows, which I know it's a bit controversial and other Germans have very strong opinions on Berlin, but it is a really awesome place and a very unique place. So I want to share some of those don'ts that you should avoid. So let's go ahead and get started. One of the first things that you want to avoid doing is taking pictures at the club. I'm going to put this at the very top of the list because it's pretty much a golden rule. And if you want to avoid having your phone taken away at the club, starting a fight, causing a scene, you know, being judged and really standing out, then do not take pictures at the club. If you know anything about the Berlin nightlife, you know it can get pretty wild. There's pretty much a club for anything that you're into. If you want to live out some sort of fantasy, some sex fetish, whatever it may be, you're going to find a club for that. And you're going to be able to go into these places and not be judged. And it's a place where you can be completely free. And because of this, they are very secretive and they want to remain as private as possible. So that's why taking pictures in a club is a no go. And actually, a lot of the times before you walk into a club, the bouncer will actually put a little sticker over your camera because they want to enforce this rule even more. And trust me, if you whip out your phone and you're a complete tourist at the club, it's going to start some trouble and people get really, really aggressive when it comes to this. So definitely avoid this. I know that it's kind of weird because especially if you're a tourist, you may want to take pictures because there's a lot of unique things to see and the clubs here are really cool, but it's just not something that's going to fly well at all here. And I know it can also be a little bit different because in the US, you'll often find photographers in the club and you'll be able to find your pictures afterwards, but you're definitely not going to see that here. Just stop it. The second thing that I wanted to talk about is tipping. And this is something that took some getting used to for me because back home, I was used to being able to leave the tip on the table for the server or even go ahead and add a tip additionally if I was paying with a credit card or a debit card, there's always an option to add, you know, an additional 15% or 10% to your bill, but that is not the case here. If you want to tip, then you have to let the server know ahead of time how much you want to give, which can make things a little bit awkward, but if you don't let them know, then they're not going to add it to your bill and there's not going to be an option for you to add it afterwards. Also, something else that you don't want to do is leave the tip just um, on your table after you walk away. You have to make sure that you give the tip to them because Lord knows what's going to happen if you just leave it on the table. Somebody else might take it. I don't know or it's just not going to go to the right person. So definitely make sure that you give the tip to the person before you leave. You'll notice that nobody leaves tips on the table here. Now, I know that in the rest of Germany, 
crossing the streets when you're not supposed to as a pedestrian or jaywalking is very, very frowned upon. But in Berlin, of course, this rule completely goes out the window and it is super, super common. So if you are walking in the street and you see that you have the opportunity to jaywalk, even if the little Ampelmann, the little person is not there, then go for it. People here jaywalk all the time and actually it's kind of weird if you just wait around, even if the street is completely empty or you know that you can cross safely. So don't be a tourist this way, just go for it. Of course, be safe, but if there's no other cars, then there's no point in waiting. And unlike the rest of Germany, you will most likely not be yelled at for doing this. I know that in other parts of the country, people will yell at you, especially older people or parents because you're setting a bad example for children. But here it's like you're pretty much judged if you follow the rules. So just jaywalk and you'll be fine. Now this one is for the guys out there and it is that in Berlin, you do not wear a suit. Now, Berlin is not a city where you dress up, you put a tie on every day, you put dress shoes on. Of course, if that's your personal style, then go for it. But as a norm, most companies don't require you to wear a suit. And actually, if you do, you're really gonna stand out. It's just not something that people do here. It's much more of a relaxed, laid back environment, which I appreciate. But again, if you don't want to stand out, then just leave your suit at home. Don't bother packing it up. Probably leave your dress shoes as well, unless you're going to be going to a bunch of interviews. But after that, you can pretty much just put it into storage because you're not going to need it while you are living here. When you are eating out, do not ask for tap water at the table. It's not going to happen. This took some getting used to as well. In Canada, if you go out to a restaurant, you'll usually get tap water served right away if you don't order drinks. And it's very common for you to be able to ask for tap water, which it is not the case here in Berlin. If you ask for tap water, it's pretty much like asking for somebody to give you their firstborn child. Honestly, you're gonna get such weird looks and the servers are gonna judge you. I don't know what it is about this, but I've definitely gotten judged multiple times, so I've pretty much given up on asking for tap water. If you want to have some water, you have to buy it and your options will be still or sparkling water and it will come in a glass bottle. It will be more expensive, so yeah. Don't ask for tap water, you're definitely gonna stand out and the servers are just gonna give you more attitude than usual. And yes, the servers here are full of attitude. I gotta say customer service is really on the low here, um, but that's just Berlin. I went to Cologne last weekend and I was very, very surprised by how nice everybody was and how amazing the customer service was because when you come to Berlin, you are not gonna experience that. Another thing you don't want to do here is assume that you can pay with a credit card. And I feel like this is pretty much known around all of Germany. It's very much a cash society, but especially in Berlin, I've noticed that a lot of places will say cash only, and it will be a big deal if you try to pay with credit card or um, even just a debit card. So really just carry cash with you at all times, carry coins with you. It's gonna make things a lot easier when paying for train tickets, paying for drinks, you know, going out to eat with people, tipping, just carry cash with you. It's only been this year that some of the train ticket machines have the option to pay with card and still it is quite rare and a lot of people don't know about this, but also you'll notice that people are quite skeptical with paying with cards here. And then the last don't that I wanted to say is don't arrive to the club too early or expect that you can go to the club before midnight and then go home at two. This is sort of frowned upon and it's not really something that people do here. So if you are going out, then expect pre-drinking to start around midnight and expect to go to the club 
no earlier than two or three in the morning. And I know that this is kind of crazy, especially to those living in North America where clubs close really early. For instance, in Toronto, they close at two in the morning. In the UK, they stop serving drinks at one. So this took some getting used to for me. So anytime I know that I'm gonna go out, I usually take a nap beforehand because yeah, staying up until like two or three and then getting the party started at that point is a lot for me. But for those of you who are used to this or enjoy you know, going out at night, then you will really like it. And actually in Berlin, you can party all night long, all day long if you want. I know people that go into clubs at you know night on a Friday and come out on Monday morning to go to work and they pretty much spend their whole weekend there, which is totally insane, but it is possible. And if you're gonna do it, then Berlin is the place to do it. So yeah, that's pretty much all for today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it and learned a bit more on what you should not do in Berlin. If you do wanna see more Berlin related content, definitely let me know down below and give this video a thumbs up. But that's gonna be all for today. I hope that you have an awesome day and I will see you all in my next one. Cheers!